Once upon a time lived a prince in his castle. His father, king of the unnamed kingdom, was getting old. So he was preparing his son, the young prince, to rule the kingdom, but before he could become a king, he would have to read the history book of the unnamed kingdom that's called blockchain. On the blockchain was written everything that happened from the beginning of the unnamed kingdom. Every king who wore a crown before him and every transaction that happened inside that kingdom was written down in the blockchain. What's so magical about this book is that it cannot be stolen, destroyed or even modified and it's written by itself. Pages in the blockchain are called blocks and every time the page was filled with enough words, the blockchain will automatically create a new blank page. This magical book is not only available to the rich and wealthy people, but everyone who wants to be part of the blockchain. This means that everyone has access to read the blockchain and no one has rights to be the middleman between the transaction of the two subjects, but it was not always like that. Before people created a blockchain, the unnamed kingdom was ruled by the evil wizards who controlled every transaction that happened between the people. For example, when one of the villagers wanted to give golden coins to his mother, he would firstly have to send coins to evil wizards, who would take percentage from that amount and then send money to villagers' mother. This system was not loved by the people of unnamed kingdom. Then villagers invented their own system of sending coins without the supervision of third party. New way of transferring money was accepted by the majority of the people. Even if the evil wizards tried to scare people not to join the blockchain, but it was too late. The evil wizards were forced to leave the unnamed kingdom and never came back and the people lived happily ever after.